Yesterday started on the hunt for a squealing, whistling, or a loud sound that was coming from somewhere around the air intakes. So it's clearly on the hunt for a vacuum leak of some sort. And what it led me to was looking down underneath the T that comes up from the throttle. And inside here, you know, is the rubber boot that connects the throttle body up to the T. <clears throat> I pulled the T, took a quick look at it, didn't see anything obvious, but as I started to inspect it, I could see, let's see if I could find it, that there is a tear here. It's a little difficult to see on camera, there you go. And there was also another uh, stress tear on this side as well. And so I'm in the process of replacing that with a uh, piece of uh, silicone uh, intended for the purpose that's a lot less expensive than a $60 piece uh, that I cut down. Uh, exact same diameter. Just have to be careful making sure when I mount the uh, hose clamps that I get them around and uh, as close to a, a perfect lap as possible around the hose. So that's today's adventure. And again, the sound that I heard, if you encounter this, is very similar to a smoke alarm in tone, except without the broken up, you know, beats of a, of a smoke alarm. Just one continuous kind of whine at that sound pitch. And so I'll be replacing that and seeing if I can get that sound to go away. I found in the process of uh, getting the T back on that there's a couple things that can really help. Because I've been through this uh, before. Uh, normally, getting to this T is a matter of removing some of the other intakes, but <clears throat> I wanted to try to find a way to do this without removing the fuel rails and so on. So, with the new piece, uh, what I do is take just a slight amount of uh, water and uh, a Dawn solution to make the inside of the uh, silicone ring uh, a little bit slick to help and. <clears throat> fish that back on and then also more importantly to help get the T back on it so as you move this back in these flexible hoses will fit in this very tight space and you can get those seated and then once that's on and you've got your clamps on it's really a matter of very carefully sorry I grabbed the wrong clamp <clears throat> Very carefully taking the T and fishing it back in and over because it doesn't go straight down. It's over to the side a little bit where, where the throttle body is. And so you have to very carefully work it past the lip and get it seated. Uh, once that's down, getting access to the clamps that are in there, I rotate the clamps so that I can see uh, the, the small socket fitting and also also flathead fitting here. I get it oriented so that it faces the uh, passenger side bank and then what I'll do from there is take a very long <clears throat> extension with the socket end and then it works where you can carefully fish that in and get that seated even the top clamp which can be difficult to get to so not an easy procedure to go through so I would suggest uh, unlike what I did is once you go through the whole intake refresh don't forget that one hose fitting that can uh, so that one piece of hose that can that can look pretty fresh feel okay but have a tear in it uh, so I think in hindsight I should have just replaced this one when I was replacing so many other hoses so there's the update, and hopefully when she starts up, no more whistle. Okay, looks like we're back in business. Started right back up. It's always uh, a bit of a struggle to get everything lined back up when you got to put the intakes back on, but not too much work. I'm happy to say I don't hear any of the uh, squealing from before because it's coming down from in this area. And so I think what we fixed took care of things. Let's give it a quick round here. Alright, everything looks 
good to go. There's a very slight knocking sound that you hear. I've got to take care of um, uh, some issues with the belt-driven fan. So there's a little bit of chatter happening from the pulley that's behind that uh, the shaft and the belt-driven fan. My long-term plan is to go ahead and replace that with a uh, electric fan setup. But for now, this is working. So. Looks like we're back in business and get ready to get back on the road.